Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarbul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law Number no. Five of 2020, ratifying the agreement on cooperation in customs matters between the governments of Bahrain and Egypt, signed in the city of Manama on November the 11th, 2018. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Secretary General Yasser Al Nasser made the following statement. His Majesty affirmed that the people of the kingdom are able to overcome all challenges which reflect their spirit and firm stances. His Majesty added that Bahrain will remain the land of peace and security thanks to the efforts of the people. His Majesty he pointed out that the coronavirus is an international issue and affirmed that with the unity and efforts of the people of Bahrain, Bahrain will overcome this challenge. His Majesty was then briefed on the efforts taken to combat the virus. His Majesty wished the infected a speedy recovery. His Majesty praised the national efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and praised the role of the executive and legislative authorities as well as public and private institutions who are all working under team. In Bahrain in facing these challenges and ensuring the safety of the people of Bahrain. His Majesty also praised the efforts of the BDF, the Interior Ministry, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Sunni and Jafari endowments and all individuals who are working to achieve the best interests for Bahrain and its people. His Majesty then expressed support to all measures taken by Saudi Arabia to protect worshippers from the virus and called for enhanced efforts among the GCC states as well as the Arab and international countries to control this issue. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, for their constant support towards the kingdom. His Majesty pointed out that the situation in Bahrain is stable and the kingdom will continue its efforts in stopping the spreading of the virus. His Majesty directed to increasing the capacity of treatment with the importance of providing the utmost comfort and applying the highest standards of quality and health care to those receiving treatment, noting the effectiveness of the precautionary measures and preventive measures taken. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keenness in ensuring the safety of the people and affirmed that all efforts will be enhanced in order to overcome all challenges and achieve the aspired goals. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited the Majlis of the late His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, where he offered condolences to the brothers of the late His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King hailed the achievements and contributions of the deceased in serving the country, praying to Allah to rest his soul in eternal peace. The brothers of the deceased expressed deep thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments and condolences, wishing him a abundant health and happiness. The Royal Court has mourned the demise of His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Royal Court prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa performed funeral prayers for the late His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. Following the funeral, prayers of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince received the condolences of senior members of the royal family and in turn expressed his profound gratitude for their compassionate and sincere sentiments. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a number of senior officials and members of the Council of Representatives and Shura Councils at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's tireless efforts to combat the coronavirus COVID-19, noting that alongside the continued support of His Majesty the King and a united team Bahrain, all challenges can be defeated. His Royal Highness stressed that wide-ranging measures have been implemented to contain the COVID-19 and that citizens' awareness remains a crucial part of national efforts in this regard. He underlined that the COVID-19 outbreak has had an unfavorable impact on the global economy, adding that with the determination of Bahrain citizens, the kingdom will continue on its path of comprehensive and sustainable national development. He hailed the efforts of Team Bahrain, stressing that the kingdom will continue its efforts to increasing necessary measures to protect citizens and residents, which include testing, quarantine, isolation and treatment capacities aimed to contain the COVID-19. For their part, the senior officials and members of the Council of Representatives and Shura Council attending the meeting expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness Crown Prince for his dedicated efforts to safeguard the health and well-being of the Kingdom's citizens and residents. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, as Anna Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa has crowned Jockey Salman Isa of Victorious Team as the champion of His Majesty the King's Endurance Cup, which was held at the Endurance International Village. The event took place in the presence of Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Azana Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, President of Brief, Azana Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Chairman of GFH Capital, Sheikh Ahmed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Azana Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Ahmed bin Khalifa also crowned the second place and third place winners, Mayouf al Rumehi and Uthman al Awadi, respectively. Azana Sheikh Nasser expressed appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty the King for supporting the endurance sport, which reflects His Majesty's keenness to support this important in sport in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He pledged to His Majesty the King to exert more efforts to develop the sports sector in Bahrain. He further explained that His Majesty the King's festival has accomplished many goals, adding that the participants in the event showcased great performances. He pointed out that the success achieved during the event is thanks to the support and follow-up of His Majesty the King. His Highness congratulated the top three winners, expressing utmost appreciation to GFH for their support to make the event a huge success. Success. His Highness crowned the winners of the championship and also honored the youngest participants in the event. His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his children also honored autistic children following the success of the joint program launched by Brief and Al Wafa Center for Autistic Children. He followed up on all the race stages of the rice alongside his children, Her Highness Sheikh Hashima, His Highness Sheikh Hamid, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed. For his part, the chairman of GFH expressed pleasure at renewing the sponsorship of His Majesty the King's Endurance Festival, congratulating His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the success achieved. He underlined the GFH's keenness to support the event because it's one of the most prestigious endurance events.
الحمد لله على كل حال اختتمنا هذا المهرجان فوز مختلط من اسطبلات مختلفة وفي النهاية مثل ما قال نهاية والمسك هو الختام في فوزنا باليوم الرئيسي بكاس الملك من 760 كاسطبل فيكتوريوس لكن ابارك لي كل يعني المنافسة والروح اللي شفناها اليوم ما كانت سهلة وتنظيم ناجح جدا وهذا كان دائما اهمي انت تعرف هالشيء يعني. طبعا اليوم يمكن شاهدنا سباق مميز من المرحله الاولى الى ال 560 كيلو متر تغيير المراكز وفي النهايه المفاجات الحلوه اللي صارت احنا مو بصعبه علينا ال 160 انما اليوم الصعوبه كانت في تطبيق القوانين الجديده اللي هي كانت صعبه جدا على الخيل لكن قدرنا على هذا طول العمر لاول مره يتم تحويل الكاس الى مهرجان ما تعليقك على على هذا المهرجان لاربعه ايام العام كانت اول نسخه هالسنه ثاني نسخه وان شاء الله بنواصل على هالاداء هذا The President of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh, received the Regional Director of the World Health Organization, the WHO, Dr. Ahmed Al Mandari, at the Crown Prince's Center for Training and Medical Research upon his visit to the Kingdom. They welcomed the WHO Regional Director, and Dr. Sheikh Mohammed gave a presentation on the latest developments of the coronavirus COVID 19 and the precautionary and preventive measures implemented in this regard. The president of the SCH affirmed that the national team concerned with combating COVID-19 and with the directives of His Royal Highness of Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa is continuing efforts to ensure the safety and health of citizens and residents. He noted the several initiatives and procedures made by the Kingdom, the most important of which the establishment of an operating room to follow up on the developments in dealing with the virus and allocating places for examination, quarantine, treatment and isolation, as well as raising their capacity. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed affirmed that Bahrain continues its sincere national efforts in combating COVID-19 with the participation of specialized medical teams and caters, where they coordinated directly with all concerned official authorities to halt flights to and from epidemic areas and developed a plan to deal with all cases arriving in Bahrain International Airport and plan for land and seaports as well as allocating a team to follow up and monitor supplies and equipment. The team also established and activated the online registration and hotline and strengthened direct contact with society through media, press, social media, places of worship and various institutions in nine different languages. Dr. Mohammed Shaban from the SCH gave a presentation on the latest developments in the kingdom in terms of numbers, statistics and measures taken in this regard. The WHO held the role of Bahrain in dealing with the spread of the coronavirus and working to contain it by taking a number of initiatives through early preparations and implementing the necessary procedures in line with international standards and WHO recommendations. Dr. al Mandari commended the Kingdom's efforts on the sidelines of the WHO's delegation's visit to follow up on its procedures in implementing the organization's recommendations. The team discussed the developments within the framework of cooperation with countries that reported recoveries from the virus after undergoing treatment protocol and enhancing cooperation between Bahrain and the WHO in combating the virus. He expressed thanks to the government of Bahrain for its hard work in responding to the spread of the virus according to WHO regulations. He also noted that the organization continuously follows up with the concerned authorities in Bahrain, the region and the world on the latest developments of the spread of the virus according to credible data to take the appropriate decision. Dr. Al Mandari expressed thanks and appreciation to the President of the SCH and the Minister of Health for the warm reception, affirming the continuation of cooperation and coordination between the two sides to review all developments. I think we are, you know, uh, doing all uh, all that we can actually in this respect. Actually, you are, you know, from the beginning of the uh, uh, fourth of this month. Actually, at that time there was uh, no spread in the Middle East; it was only in China. Uh, but uh, since then, actually, we had uh, begun to take the measures uh, seriously. And uh, when it actually spread to the Middle East, especially to Iran, and lots of people actually coming from Iran, we are taking all the measures that actually control, you know, the people coming to Bahrain and control and you know, screening them to see, uh, you. Know, 
you know, whom they are, you know, with the symptoms and, you know, uh, making the tests who are positive or negative. And we are taking the measures, actually. The positive are going to uh, for, for treatment and the negative are going for quarantine for 14 days. And after that, uh, they are released. Of course, uh, we are actually checking also people who had been in Iran from the beginning of the month until 21st, we have put the, 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 our regulation. And we are actually doing that. We are already examined around uh, 500, 500 something out of uh, around 200 of 2000 and uh, we are actually you know, com will complete the number uh, left I think in the coming few days so we actually it's going to have you know secure that you know we have no problem inside Bahrain all that we have actually some people coming from outside Bahrain and uh, we are going to receive also the people coming from Iran and screen them the same way and I think you know things are under control. We have had a meeting with the uh, committee, I mean, uh, national committee uh, leading this sort of uh, uh, program uh, based on the pre presentation given to us. Uh, I have seen the scientific manner uh, Bahrain has started with to deal with this uh, problem from, <coughs> from the first moment that has been announced about uh, this disease in China and the subsequent events in different countries within the region and outside. Um, uh, based on this uh, program that have been developed here starting from the surveillance system in the airport to the detection of positive cases, the tracing of uh, those contacts of the positive cases, the isolation and the management of positive cases and also the contacts. It is really something very uh, uh, sort of um, reassuring, reassuring that the community is fully protected from this uh, outbreak. And I have no doubt the healthcare system in Bahrain is strong enough to deal with this sort of an outbreak. The Ministry of Health affirmed that it continues to take precautionary measures to combat the spread of coronavirus. The ministry called on all sections of Bahraini society to follow the instructions they have been provided to ensure their safety and to avoid spreading the virus. The ministry affirmed that it has called up on all of its caters in coordination with other parties in the kingdom to combat the virus. The ministry also affirmed the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands, hugs and kisses. It's also covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and advises to avoid public spaces when possible. The ministry called on citizens and residents to strengthen their immune system by exercising, eating well and drinking plenty of water, while ensuring that all scheduled vaccines are taken as per the ministry's recommendations. The Ministry of Health continues to activate mobile checkup procedures for citizens who returned from Iran during the month of February. The Ministry has allocated mobile units to conduct the necessary examination for the citizens concerned in their areas of residence. The medical examination process is carried out by a specialized medical team according to the criteria approved by the World Health Organization. The initiative has achieved a noticeable response from those concerned.
Regularly and thoroughly clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Why? Washing your hands with soap and water or using alcohol-based hand rub kills viruses that may be on your hands. Maintain at least one meter distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing and avoid crowded areas as much as possible. Why? When someone coughs or sneezes, they spray small liquid droplets from their nose or mouth, which may contain viruses. If you are too close, you can breathe in the droplets, including the COVID-19 virus, if the person coughing has the disease. Crowds are unpredictable zones. Avoid them for now. Why? Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up viruses. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose or mouth. From there, the virus can enter your body and make you sick. This means covering your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze. Then dispose of the used tissue immediately. Why? Droplets spread viruses. By following good respiratory hygiene, you protect the people around you from viruses such as colds, flus, and COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus. Stay home if you feel unwell. If you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical attention by calling 444 and follow the instructions given by the medical team. Why? The Ministry of Health has the most up-to-date information on the situation, which will protect you and help prevent the spread of viruses and other infections. The President of Tunisia, Qais Saeed, received Arab Interior Ministers on the occasion of the 37th session of the Arab Interior Ministers Council meeting. He stressed the importance of this meeting in enhancing Arab security and cooperation in all fields and expressed his aspirations that the meeting will meet the needs of people. The Minister of Interior General, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, headed the Bahraini delegation in the meeting that was held under the chairmanship of Sudan's Interior Minister, who received the chairmanship from the Honorary President of the Council. The Saudi Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Saud bin Naif Al Saud. The Tunisian Prime Minister, Elias Al Fakhfakh, delivered a speech in which he discussed a number of topics, including forming a work team to monitor and analyze terrorist threats. He also discussed the outcomes of the Arab International Joint Meetings. On another note, the Arab Interior Minister Council concluded its meeting by taking the suggestion of the Secretary Committee to give the Emir Naif Medal for Arab Security to Bahrain's Ministry of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa due to his distinguished role in the field.
أصحاب السمو والمعالي يسعدني أن أعرب عن أصدق مشاعر الشكر والتقدير إلى صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير عبد العزيز بن سعود بن نايف آل سعود وزير الداخلية بالمملكة العربية السعودية الشقيقة الرئيس الفخري لمجلس وزراء الداخلية العرب ورئيس هيئة أمناء جائزة الأمير نايف على تفضله بتكريمي بوسام الأمير نايف للأمن العربي معبرا عن اعتزازي وفخري باختياري من قبل أعضاء هيئة أمناء الجائزة وبهذه المناسبة الطيبة أتشرف بإهداء هذا التكريم إلى مقام سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك مملكة البحرين المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه وأدام عزة الذي منحني الثقة السامية وشرفني بقيادة وزارة الداخلية فبفضل توجيهاته السامية والدعم والرعاية الدائمة تحقق لي هذا الإنجاز الأمني الرفيع كم يسعدني أن أنال وسام الرجل الذي ارتبط اسمه بالأمن العربي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير نايف بن عبد العزيز آل سعود رحمه الله الذي عاصر نشأة هذا المجلس وتولى رئاسته من بداية تأسيسه في الثمانينات حيث حافظ رحمه الله على هذا الكيان وتماسكه من خلال إيمانه بأهمية حضور مجلس وزراء الداخلية العرب في استراتيجية الحفاظ على الأمن والاستقرار العربي وعندما نقيم ما يعانيه الأمن العربي هذه الأيام ندرك تماما بعد النظر والأفق الأمني والمشاعر العروبية الأصيلة التي حظى بها سموه رحمه الله إن وضع الأمن العربي أيها الأخوة يتطلب منا مزيدا من المشاركة والحضور في القضايا الأمنية الاستراتيجية لتكون وجهة نظرنا أساسا في مناقشات وقرارات القمم العربية متمنيا لمجلسنا التوفيق والسداد لمواصلة التعاون التي أسسها سمو الأمير نايف ويسير على نهجه صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير عبد العزيز بن سعود بن نايف آل سعود وزير الداخلية بالمملكة العربية السعودية الشقيقة الرئيس الفخري لمجلس وزراء الداخلية العرب شاكرا لكم جميعا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The Minister of Interior launched the e-services system prepared by the Ministry of Interior for the General Secretariat of the Arab Interior Minister Council. The Minister of Interior expressed appreciation for the role of the Council's General Secretariat, noting that the initiative comes in belief in the goals of Arab security cooperation. On the sidelines of the meeting of the Arab Interior Ministers Council in Tunisia, the Minister of Interior General, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met his Egyptian counterpart, Major General Mahmoud Tawfiq. The Interior Minister hailed the deep rooted and historic relations between Bahrain and Egypt, expressing appreciation for Egypt's honorable role in supporting Arab security cooperation. A number of security cooperation and coordination aspects, as well as topics of common interest, were discussed. The Minister of Interior also met his Jordanian counterpart, Salah Mohammad, where they discussed a number of security issues and topics of common interest, hailing the deep-rooted relations.
The Minister of Interior also met with the Yemeni Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister Engineer Ahmed al Misri. They praised the bilateral relations and then they discussed a number of topics of common concern. The Minister of Interior then met with the Minister of Interior Decentralization and Regional Administration in charge of relations with constitutional institutions of the Comoros, Mohamed Dawood Abdullah, and discussed with him topics of common interests.